We're going to run a, a quick, fast dribble uh, type batch for you, which is what the unit's going to be used for in this application. So first we're going to run the thing at uh, nearly 100%, and then we'll drop it down to, I don't know, 10 or 20%, just to show you that, and then turn it off. We'll do it two times so you can see um, the accuracy and so on you'll get out of that. So let's go ahead. So the first is our fast speed. As you can see, it's coming out fast. Now we'll go to a dribble. So we're going to go to a point where you can just get a little bit trickling out, and then when we say stop, it will stop. And you can see it's an instant off again, you know. I'm going to hit on this. I mean, I really, you can see I'm hitting this. You're really going to have to move this to get material to come out. Let's do it again, a fast. Let's go back to the 100%. Let it go. Fills up the tray again. Okay, now down to 10%, 10%, excuse me, or so. And then a stop. And you can see it's an instant off. So we're going to run, we'll run the feeder out. I'm going to show you what the feed tray looks like in a second. So let's just run it at 100% and just, let's unload that. And we're going to see a little bit of buildup on the feed tray here. Um, again, the electro polishing is what's going to minimize that but we'll show you how easy it cleans again compared to what happens with the screw um, you know this will build up over time and maybe once a week you're gonna have to come in and wipe this out with your finger with a rag um, you can see it's pretty well empty now let's turn it off you can see the slight build up here but again if I wipe this with my finger it just comes completely off obviously it'll stick to my finger but it comes completely off even in the corners and what happens with a screw, and a lot of you have experienced this, where the screw is turning, it creates heat, and it creates friction. And when it does, it bonds. You'll get a very loud squealing noise. Uh, many times your screw will wrap up into your hopper, and you'll have to replace that. Uh, with the GM8 feeder, which has no moving parts, that's never an issue here. You don't create any heat. You don't create that friction. That's why we're replacing a couple of screw feeders in this application as well. So very simplistic, no moving parts. We give a two-year warranty on the entire unit. Um, so... Call us with your questions.